Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be playing Mylon Secret Castle on the NES. Let's get into it. So the story here is Mylon lives in the land of Hudson, where they use instruments to communicate. But Mylon can't communicate. So he's about to go on a quest to find other people like him. But before he goes, he decides to go to the Secret Castle to visit Queen Eliza. When he gets there, he sees the evil warlord has taken over the castle along with the the demons. Uh, Mylon volunteers to go and save the queen and return all of the musical instruments the warlord has stolen. The wizard gives him a magic bubble, which will help him find secrets hidden throughout the castle that will help him. That's pretty much the story to the game. Uh, there's all kinds of hidden things in this game. That's what makes it hard. It's very cryptic. Uh, you see these music boxes here. They give you a little bonus level. You collect the uh, notes and the sharp notes. And that will give you money. If you get the flat notes, it will take one away. I think for like every four notes you get, you get a dollar. I'm not exactly sure. But if you can get around 40 notes, that's pretty good. That's usually around where I get. Yeah, there's so many hidden things in this game. It's just, it's crazy. Very hard to, to memorize it all. Very hard to find everything. But that's what makes it fun. <laughs> 44 notes. Excellent. Uh, money is pretty much the name of this game. You need money to collect all the items that you're going to need. There's 12 items in total you need to get. Along with two, like, secret items you have to find in order to get through. Uh, see that right there? That's a shop. In shop, you can buy items that will help you. These are the spring shoes, but they're $16. There's another store where you can get them cheaper. Uh, some hints. Secret entrance in the front wall. Bump head to find box. I already did that. You see up top by that guy, uh, the bubbles up there. Those are where the crystals go. Like once I get one, you'll see it like turn white. And then you got your items there. Yeah, 12 items to find. And you got to defeat the seven demons to get the crystals. On the left there, you'll see a life meter. You can increase your life meter by collecting honeycombs. See one right there. It fills up your life and it also gives you one more bar, which you're definitely going to need. Also hidden is money throughout the secret castle and the key. Not only that, the door, the exit door is hidden. So you need to find the key and the exit door to get out. Uh, okay, ready to go. I always gotta remember, did I get, did I get the music box in that room? Did I get the honeycomb? <laughs> some rooms have honeycomb, some rooms don't. Uh, right here, potion, shrink when you touch the glove. Find a saw. Crystal has mysterious power. So I did play this as a kid, and I never got like past this part at all. I, I had no idea what to do. You go in this room right here. See, nothing's in here. But it's because you need to get the spring shoes first. So everything about this game is cryptic. Well, I actually really enjoy it. It definitely gets hard. So right there, if you bounce on that with the spring shoes, it'll, it'll bounce you up. Well, I don't have that yet. I didn't buy it because there's a store right up here. Which will let you get it cheaper. Uh, the umbrellas are actually good. I didn't know what they did at first, but they give you rapid fire. Which you're going to need, especially for the bosses. Uh, okay, the ball and the enemies do respawn, which is kind of a pain. Push on the block for three seconds, and it will move over for you. Three or four seconds. 
Here's the spring shoes here for only ten dollars. Uh, you could buy power to get some life back. But I don't think I need that right now. So yeah, you find yourself kind of just shooting bubbles everywhere, hoping you hit something. There we go. Next music box is right there. And it really is necessary to get these music boxes because you need like every dollar you can get to buy all the items. Some of them are kind of expensive, like $50. in this stage it's pretty cool come on give me 40 all right just found the honeycomb up there come on also in this game you don't go invincible for a second when you get hit. So you can just get hit over and over again if you get stuck somewhere and you'll die pretty quickly. There is continues in this game. Uh, that's also kind of cryptic how they did it, but it is in the manual. You just have to hold left and push start on a select screen uh, when you start over. So they do tell you in the manual, so I, I don't consider it cheating because it is in there. Uh, okay, right here is a lantern for 50, but that's way too expensive. We can get one of them cheaper. Secrets in the well. All right. Come on. And sometimes the keys will appear from, uh, I think, breaking blocks and eliminating enemies. I'm not exactly sure. I like to be little down here just because it's easier to hit those blocks to get up here. Some hidden money up here. to the first demon. All the enemies kind of have the same pattern. Some of them, it seems like they take more hits. I'm not really sure. They go quicker. These guys are kind of a pain. Come on. There we go. Okay, there's our first crystal. And now we get to go up to the second floor. This game's all about memorization, like remembering where all the money and items are. Hopefully I can remember where everything is. I know there's a music box, yes. I actually really enjoy these mini uh, bonus stages here. It's a nice break from the constant enemies and stuff like that. X. 
Excellent. The only thing that kind of stinks is after you do the music box, it sends you to a random spot in the level. And you gotta go back around. Also, if you shoot regular, it'll just shoot up like that. If you hold down and push the shoot button, you can shoot down. So that takes a little bit of getting used to. Alright, see the key right there? Sometimes that will disappear on you. Another hidden shop right here. So now we can get the lantern for only $15. Much better deal. Need a light in the dark. That's for going down the well. Balloon makes the bubble bigger. The well is climbable. So, I mean, at least they, they give you some kind of hints, but when you're a kid, you don't have any clue, like, what the hell's going on. Sweet honeycomb. See, hopefully the key's still here. Yes. Sometimes the key will disappear. Actually, I need to go back around. Alright, we got everything in here. There is uh, also Hudson Bees in some levels, which will give you like a uh, kind of like a shield. You get, you get a few extra hits before it starts taking your life away. But I do not remember where all of those are. Exit doors right there. Okay. Down here, you got the Hudson letters displayed proudly. The key does appear down here. But I'm not sure. Also, uh, there's a secret shop right here, which you need to go to to buy this vest. Helps you in the fire room. It doesn't fully protect you. The vest isn't 100% against heat. It barely seems to do anything at all. It seems like after like a few seconds you start taking hits, but you still need it. That's the exit door right there. Oh, the Hudson Bee. Oh, I never... Never know when those are coming. Oh, there's a honeycomb right there. I'm gonna get that in a second. Come on, man. Oh, 
hard to hit that block there we go all right right here you can refill your life let's get another hint push for four seconds on the fireplace and it will just give you ten dollars just for fun thank you all right now we can try to get the key the key will usually appear like right around here but I think on this level you need to defeat like so many enemies for it to show up. I'm also trying to hit that glove. Ah, oh, there we go. Let me up. Why am I not getting up? Go! Alright, there we go. Okay. Now we go down the well over here. So hard. Uh, there's a Hudson Bee that comes out of this, so I'm trying to... I can never get it. No, <laughs> I've never gotten that. Okay. These eyeball things you can kill. There's a honeycomb right here, but I'm going to wait till the way out to get that. Because I definitely get like pretty weak on the way out. Okay, now we're in the fire room. It won't take long till we start taking damage. There's another Hudson B I can never get. Uh, oh god. Gonna get that one. Alright, there's another honeycomb over here. This fire guy you can't kill until you get to canteen. Alright. Next boss. Enter through the front wall. Now this part, you can try and defeat one of these eyeball guys and it will like take you back up. But I don't know, I'm just not good at fighting them. So I'm just going to go this way, climb back out the old fashioned way. Come on. Oh, why did I shoot that? Should not have shot that block. Oh god. Alright, I'm gonna leave and come back. There's the honeycomb. Come on. 
All right, that's pretty good. Okay, now we got the hammer so we can break through certain parts in the wall. You also gotta be careful when you're jumping out of that well, because if you walk over, you'll fall right back in there. All right, so now we gotta go back. And the right spot is here. The other spots you'll go in and you'll just come right back out. Now we got the saw. You can enter through windows. Okay, we got six items, doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, if you wait outside too long, this lightning bolts will come. Uh, we're going back up. I'm going to fight the next boss, which is right here. Yeah, there's so many different ways to go in this room, uh, this third floor. This room right here, you're going to be going in more than once. I'm trying not to die. Uh, I am not too proud to say that... <laughs> I am not too proud to say that I, I uh, farm. You know, sometimes you gotta farm for health. So that's exactly what I do. And, oh man, Hudson B. There's a lot of NES games where you'll find yourself doing this sort of thing. Uh, Metroid's a big one. Well, my goal is to die as little as possible, even though you can continue just kind of a pain because even when you continue you only start with like four bars of health so you find yourself doing this anyways so yeah this room you'll find yourself going in a few different times because in here you can get the blimp but you can also get money that this is like the only room where the money reappears well there's one other room but it only the other room only reappears like three times. This one reappears, I don't know how many times. So you kind of need to do that in order to get enough money to buy all the items. There we go. Fill me up. spots will always reappear. Oh, actually, I think there's a uh, music. Yes. Okay, good. Just remember that.
Uh, let me get 40. Yes, exactly 40. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, here's the store. You can buy the blimp. It's 40. That's expensive. Glide down slowly. There is only one Marahito. Maharito. That's the warlord they're talking about. A crown and cane is needed at the fourth floor. So yeah, those are the two other items you need that they don't even tell you about in the game. They tell you there's two extra items, but they don't tell you what they are. Yeah, look at that. It always puts you back right there. You're instantly getting hit. It's awfully nice of them. So yeah, now you can kind of float down like the princess, nice and gently. Okay, there's the exit. I guess I'll go out. This does go away after a little bit, but it will come back again. No, I'm going to go in here again just to make sure I got enough cash. I do not remember if there's a honeycomb in this room. Alright. So this room's cool. You can collect all this money. And it leads to a store where you can get the Super shoes, I think they're called. 60 bucks. Well, that's expensive. Jump high anywhere. Fill up your power here if you need it, but I like to save that for later if I need it. You can only do it one time. Uh, send you out back at the bottom. The cool thing is, though, is you can do that three times. See, underneath there, that's actually the first level. I don't know if uh, I showed the money up here in the first level. Right, can 
this lightning go away, please? One of the things about the lightning is if you're like not careful when you go into these windows, if the lightning happens to pass by you, it could still hurt you. It could still like catch you as you're going in. That's the third time. Oh man. Is this gonna go away? Oh man. There, finally, thank you. Okay, we go in here. This level's kind of a pain because there's all kinds of like trap doors and stuff like that. Spawn right there. I have to try to remember where the music note is. Where the heck is it? Honeycomb. Give me that Hudson B, please. Oh my god. <laughs> How many times am I going to do the same thing? Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Come on, can you let me over this, please? Ah, there it is. Good. Excellent. I think we still have three more items to buy. Three or two. There's one item, the uh, canteen, which you get from one of the demons after you beat it. Only 36 notes. Okay. So the last thing I want to do in here, I don't want to go out. I don't want to go out. How am I going to do that? There's a store up here. It's like hard to get. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's up there. There we go. Now I'll give you the feather. 35. 
lose weight and ride the elevators. There's only one elevator in this game. <laughs> and I don't think you necessarily need it. Trap in the left tower. A room below the fireplace. Come on. Alright. Also, we need to buy the paint, which will let you see invisible things. So, so yeah, the paint is 40. We got just enough for that. Then I still have to buy the sword. The sword, I think, is 50. A water pot and icy room. So, I hate to do it, but I'm going to go back in this room. Get some more money. I know in the room with the sword there is um there is a music note and there is some cash in there but I don't know if it's enough. Swords 50. Alright. Uh, let's try it. looking for money right now. Money, 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 money. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Hearts are starting to get low. There's the elevator. There's the shop. I just got stuck on it. It's a music note. Go back around here. How do I get up there? Okay. Nice to get 50. Come on. Oh, 
49, so close. We got $44. Yeah, put you back at the beginning. Give me that. Oh my god. Okay, so you'll see over here, we got the key, but there's also a honeycomb in here, and I think a Hudson Bee, but I'm, once again, I'm not quite sure where that is, let's see if we can get in here. the Hudson. Oh my god. Of course I'm not going to be able to get him. Where's the honeycomb? There we go. Alright. Now at the top of this craziness, there's some cash. Alright, we got 54. I think that's enough. Oh, looks like we're taking the elevator. There we go. Okay, yeah, it is 50. Nice. So we got just enough for that. All right, the last item we're missing there is the canteen. Let's check out this hint. You see, we still got four demons to defeat. Watch out for a phony princess. Oh, God. Alright, now we can get out of here. I feel like my uh, health bar is supposed to be one one more notch. I don't know if I missed a uh, honeycomb somewhere. I might have. It's definitely possible. Okay. Now that we got that, we're going to go over here. where it gets real fun. Oh yeah, the last honeycomb is in here. Come on. Can I not shoot that? Dying, just trying to get this. No, well, this is not good at all. Come on, this is not good. Now I have like no health. This boss in here is pretty hard. to farm health in here. So if one of those uh, lightning bolts hit you, 
you like go flying up and if it sends you into the if it sends you into the electricity going across those things oh my god you get way more hurt does Hudson be there? I had no idea about that no oh my god Oh my god, it's so hard. No, 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 no. Well, that was my first death. And I'm just going to show this this first time. So, yeah, see, it doesn't say continue or anything. But if you hold left on the directional pad and push start, it will let you continue. But you start on the first floor, and you see I only have four bars of health. So this is when I go farming. This will be the only time I show this because I don't want to bore anybody. It's kind of repetitive. But yeah, this is the spot I like to farm. It's the easiest level. There's a few different things that spawn around here. It's also good to get those umbrellas to get some rapid fire. Oh yeah, there's one thing I forgot. There's a Hudson Bee down here. I know where the Hudson Bee is in this level. And I guess now would probably be a good time to get it. Either that, I could wait till the... I'll probably die again, I don't know. <laughs> Looking good now. I wonder if I should get it. You know what? I won't get it right now. That was the last honeycomb. Oh, come on. Please, guys, don't kick my ass too much. All right, let's see if we can do this. You want to be very careful you don't go to the door because it will take you back out 
which I've done on accident, and it really sucks. <sighs> Come on. No. No. Yes. That guy's pretty hard. Okay, there's the canteen. Thank you. So we got all the normal items. Alright, now we're gonna head back in here. Because remember that fireplace they were talking about? That's actually in this level. But before we go down there, guess what we're gonna do, guys? Yeah. The farm for health. Because you have to get past one of those fire things, and then once you go down the fireplace, there's another guy to fight. And we're doing this to get those two secret items that you need. One of them is down here. Come on, don't mess with me. Give me some health, please. Umbrella's good. Health is better. Now you're not going to give me any help. Why are you doing this to me? I've been playing this game for hours. Please show a little sympathy. Oh my god, that is not sympathy. <laughs> It is important you fill up your life bar, though, before you head down there. Uh, this game would probably be a good, uh, be a good contestant for using the, uh, turbo controller, if you like using those. I don't, because... I don't feel like, you know, this game wasn't made to play with that, so I just used a regular one. But especially on the boss fights, it would definitely be good. Come on, I want to get in that fireplace. I'm not sure if you collect more umbrellas if it makes you shoot faster or not. I never actually paid attention to that. Alright, here we go. We're in business. Here's the fireplace. I don't even fight that guy. Just go right down. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, come, on. Oh, come on, please. Yes! Okay, so yeah, you see how when I shoot those blocks, they actually appear? That's because we have the paint. If we didn't have the paint, that wouldn't happen. They, you could still get on them, I guess, but you won't be able to see them. Come on, I'm not going to die right here. No way. Oh, 
course, the heart's over there. Far in Come on. You can see down there, uh, you can walk underneath. You do not want to go down there until you're ready to leave. Or else you have to go through, like, the whole thing again. You have to go all the way around again. You won't have to fight the, the boss again. But you'll have to go through everything else. Which is definitely a pain. Alright, let's go. What the hell? Okay, so see what looks like the princess there? But it's not. It's a crow in disguise. So you shoot the crap out of it, and you get one of the secret items. This is the cane. Okay, now we can get out of here. Oh man. Alright, let's get out of here. This is the other tower, but you can't just, you can't get up here. You have to actually go all the way around. Of course, it brings you out down here. This one's kind of like a maze. It's not too hard once you know like what you're doing. But if you don't know, it'll just keep looping and looping. So we keep going all the way down. Now once you get here, you gotta shoot oh shoot the blocks and then jump up there. And you fall down here. Come on. No. Oh my god. Come on. Again, I'm not ready to leave because we need to get the other secret item. Yes, I finally got a Hudson B. So yeah, that that just gives you a few extra hits. Come on. 
Oh my god, I already lost my Hudson B. Alright, I need to try and get some health here. Hidden blocks are everywhere. Fill me up, Buttercup. As boring as this is, it's definitely like a necessary part of the game. Unless you're just crazy skilled, but I've been playing this for hours and I definitely find a need to do this. <laughs> Come on up. Ah, oh, okay. Sometimes if they're right in the block, they won't let you get them. See if we can get this. All right, hang on. Try not to take too many hits. All right, get the last item that we need, the crown. to go to the last I think there's one more demon monster we have to fight before we can go all the way up but before I do that I'm gonna go back down here I know I know <laughs> one more time let's get our health up and I am gonna get the Hudson Bee that I know is still here it should still be here and hopefully that'll be enough to get us through This is just the best way I know how to do it. I mean, maybe some of you guys know of like a better way, have a better trick, better farming method, I I'm not sure. All right, so let's see, it's very important. Yes, there it is, yes. If you get one more heart, it will actually like give you an extra hit, I think. You'll see this little shield around him get bigger. So, might as well take the time to do that too, right? Go. 
No, 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 no. No. Yes. Oh my god. I've died on that guy so many times. I can't believe I did it my first try. Okay, this is the last part. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do? I can't just go right there. That would be crazy. Alright, but what I'm going to do here is, if you guys remember that $15 fill up, I'm just going to do that. Instead of going all the way back down. Oh god. If the lightning doesn't kill me first... Get up there. Still gonna have to go back around anyways. I forgot about that. Oh, I don't even have 15. My bad. So now I'm gonna have to do it this way. One more time, guys. Hopefully one more time and that's it. Now, on the top floor, the Warlord is in one of the four rooms, and each room is identical, but they have a different uh, background color. And you have to figure out which each room has a Warlord or a Warlord lookalike. And you have to find out if that's the real Warlord, or if not, it will just turn into a crow. And the only way to find out is by shooting it enough times. If it's a crow, it'll turn to a crow. If not, you can just keep shooting it. Now, what I saw was that it's like random which room it's in, but I don't know. For me, the last couple times I went through this, it was in the green room. The Warlord was, so I'm hoping that it's still in there. But there's a lot of crows like attacking you on the way, and it's just kind of a pain. So I'd like to have full life, just because. Rapid fire going. There we go. Alright. Let's do this. Oh god, come on! That's not fair. I just took three hits getting in there. So yeah, here we go. Oh my god, this is not gonna be good. So what you want to do is you want to get up top here. See that middle room? That's where the Warlord is. But... Go over here. Oh, I fell down. God damn it. And it put you back out? No! And it hit me. I forgot about that. Oh my god, I'm already half dead. Please! So yeah, if you go through this, you want to make sure you push over so you don't fall down. Hopefully this is the right one. Come on. Try not to go into the room. Oh god, please. You gotta be careful because sometimes a crow will come from the bottom. No! Get him! No! Oh, here comes the crow, of course. 
Go away, crow. Please go away. It's the right one. All right. There's Queen Eliza. You bravely saved Castle Garland. Thank you, Mylon. Woo! Overall, I think it's an awesome game. If you're if you're the type that likes to find hidden objects and things like that, uh, controls are good. Everything's good about it. It's just it's a lot to remember. And there is another secret. If you play through it twice, it will give you a special ending, which just says like. Thank you for playing. Uh, see you soon. Because they were supposed to make a part two or something like that. But it didn't happen here. But I think they had one in uh, Japan or whatever. But yeah. Overall, really awesome game. 